I'm telling you, the one thing you cannot get back is time. It is your greatest asset. Come complicate with life. This day here from my grandmother was alive. <laughs> guys, guys, I'm gonna bring my camera, but I'm having lunch. Wait, look, a long time when I see me go one year. This is the last time when I see Michaela was when Mitty was here. Okay, so we had Tamarin lunch. It's after the gym, this is after the gym. I mean, it's after carnival, so you may eat rice, may eat everything, and have hide your body skin. And some white rice with some butter on it. And then, here it is. Yeah, so we just like the chop. And I'm, I'm loving it. So yeah, I'm just a check-in. I don't know. I don't know what I want. So yeah. Guys, this portion of today's vlog is sponsored by Rose Forever New York. Okay. And I'm so excited. I have the box right here. I just got this and I'm going to open it with you guys. I'm going to, you know, unbox it on camera with you guys. Definitely giving luxurious vibes. That really luxurious feel. As you can see, it says Rose Forever New York. Ta da! It's really lightweight. It's so nice. I love this. Rose Forever is a New York based brand and it was launched in 2019. So they basically, you know, design luxurious rose boxes with natural roses that will last for up to a year. As if, you know, like they were freshly picked and they basically use natural oils to preserve the roses. Uh, the bouquets are handcrafted by professional flower artisans, okay? And all the materials that they use to cover the boxes are vegan. So they have their roses in different colors, such as violet, black, royal blue and are created through a natural process of pigmentation to keep a rich intense shade and are allergen free okay so there is an enormous choice of rose colors and box shape or materials so you just have to find your own like combination for your li like to your liking and preference okay, their style is inspired by Parisian chic style and have developed multiple design options due to customers it definitely screams luxury as i told you just now in the previous clip that's what they specialize in just creating these really nice luxury rose boxes and i feel like this could go for so many different occasions but you guys know mother's day is coming up so i mean i feel like you could definitely go ahead and get your mom like one of these gorgeous little packages and the fact that you could get them in like in different colors different type of packaging and that just make it like really super fun and it's really lightweight it's really lightweight but yeah so you guys can definitely keep an eye like out on the site like because they're gonna keep on having like different sales and they're gonna be launching different like collections and stuff so you guys should definitely keep an eye out and yes since I'm telling you guys to go ahead and check them out I do have a code where you can get some dollars off so you could go ahead and feel free to use my code petite suit 20 this will get you $20 off your purchase all right so please you can go ahead and check out the site the link will be in my description box for you guys you guys know how it go already so oh my gosh I love this <laughs> love it man I decided to go ahead and stick with red because I just feel like it just give me like my first preference is always gonna be red when it comes down to roses you know uh I'll, white and pink it's, it's those are nice colors as well but if you want to be different definitely you could explore the different color choices like that would just be like a standout type of option that's it for today's featured brand um so now that i show you guys that let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the vlog and see what i'm up to let's go <laughs> I'm finally done with lunch with Michaela. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. Oh, I forget to take out my camera when media going to the restaurant. But yeah. So yeah, it was just, you know, caught up. And, you know, we're just talking. As usual, the food was good. So now I'm heading home because from a good gym. Then after working out, I got fresh and then we just went there. So now, yeah, I'm going and I need to get the car washed. So that's what I'm going to do. But you know what? I realized that I didn't get to like end the vlog and fully tell you guys how I felt about like just um, jump up there and stuff. But I don't know. I would rate the experience like an 8. The only reason why I'm going to rate it an 8 out of 10 is because I just feel like the road. <laughs> I just wish they'd go back to the road where they walked on this very road that I'm on right now. Which is West King's um, house road. Because it's wider. We were on Lady Musgrave and it was so difficult. Like, because you can't walk beside a truck when you're on those roads. It's so miserable. It's way too narrow. So, remember where we were in backpacks and stuff? So, somebody backpack hitting you in the face or your backpack hitting somebody in the face. So it's kind of like, that's annoying. <laughs> but anyway, I don't want to have to deal with that. So, I really feel like that took away. But the road, the vibe was nice. The DJ, DJs played really good. And um, I'm happy that it wasn't too hot. Usually if the sun was shining, it would be like beaming. It would be boiling out there. But every minute, the sun would be in and out, in and out. At one point, we even thought it was going to rain because we felt like drizzles. <laughs> and we were like, general star. <laughs> we pray to God so the rain never fall and it, it didn't. So I'm happy about the road wasn't, it was like extremely hot or anything. So I'm happy that that's how that played out and the day was good. Apart from the roads being like, you know, narrow and stuff. The route that they chose, you know, I just hope say, like, for other carnivals, they'll actually choose better routes. Um, but yeah, that's just a little update on that. All in all, experience was really good. I feel like because it's a comeback year too, it was so packed. Like, so many people came this year. I mean, it always have only put people in about. I feel like last year, because it was really like a makeup year after the pandemic and stuff, like, a lot of people never did really want to just rush out back on the road so because they were still very cautious and stuff. So it was like the same vibe. This year was really the true, like, return. And it was good. Good. it was really good so yeah um so for this week i'm just kind of like chilling as i said i went to the gym earlier and stuff tomorrow is my off day and guys in this very same vlog i'm gonna be going to my girl i adore you know something i've got when i know i say i just i just feel like i adore it i adore is the best bro girl like and she's she just has like great customer service but i'm not so you guys know that i, I don't mind getting tattoos and stuff right right <laughs> but i'm not getting a tattoo so you guys are probably gonna be like uh so i had already had a tattoo no no she's not but i'm getting a similar like procedure to the lips it's called lip blushing it's not fillers it's not lip fillers it's a it's a light lip tattoo so that's why i brought up the whole tattoo thing so Early in the morning, I have that um, with her. So it's going to be a whole experience. I'm going to bring you guys with me and take you guys through that whole session. I'm low-key kind of nervous because I'm like, my nose and my lips are probably going to be swollen afterwards. Because, uh, you know, just like when you get a tattoo. I remember when I got this tattoo, like when I got the recite and, and stuff, like my hand was so swollen for like, a day like two days you know but yes so i'm i'm gonna do that procedure with her that should be really nice uh, after my lips should look like a really nice light blush like a blush color not like super drastic or anything but really nice and solid with um the tone so i was like all right cool i don't mind a lip tattoo it's I, I basically like did a brow tattoo in a way because you'd say microblading is similar to that but looks really nice and natural so it's a it's the same kind of it's a similar kind of thing with the lips listen guys let me say everyone know if you don't have anything positive to say and that's fine you really don't need to comment and if you do 
I'm always gonna vlog. <laughs> so yeah. Um so yeah, that's the 30. What I'm gonna be doing tomorrow, tomorrow's my off day and I don't think I'm gonna really do nothing else to the rest of the day because I don't know how swollen my lips are going to be. Okay, hi, so this is me before I head out to the appointment I'm about to go now. Mm-mm. I'm so like nervous. It's it's not gonna be drastic. As I said, this is like a tattoo. So I mean that's the I that, it's just <laughs> I'm just not looking forward to the swelling. <laughs> um but yeah, so yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Anyway, make a head out now and I'll see you guys there when I'm there. <laughs> I will laminate your brows while your lips are numbing. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, these brows need to be tamed and clipped. <laughs> in my mind, I say it's cream, them cream out them eyebrow. It's like cream. It's cream, cream relax. A relaxer <laughs> to the brows. <laughs> right. Um, but it's not as what should I say? Strong. It doesn't have as much chemical, so it's not going to last. As long as I perm would in here, it'll last like maybe four to six weeks. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I get a nice like polished look. Right, and then we clip off the hair and then I can also put a tint over it. Oh, yeah. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make it a little bit darker. How long ago did you microblade the eyebrows? I touch it up, I believe like beginning of December last year. Okay. Or you mean initially? I don't remember. No, the last touch up. Yeah, we can do a tint over it. Oh. It's gonna look darker. Yeah. But they still, they still have one. Them yeah. still have one. Them look nice, same way. Right. Just one clip up so you can right. see the true shape. Yeah. Yeah. All right, pretty girl, let's start. So I'm gonna exfoliate your lips first, and then I'm gonna put them to numb, and then I'm gonna do your brow line. Okay, you can't explain what lip blushing is. Oh, sure. So. Lip blushing is a two-step process. First, we're going to neutralize the darkness because we can't directly put the color over your um, the dark areas. You know, the whole color theory thing. They would if we put right over this darkness, it would turn maybe purple. purple. Mm -hmm. So we have to neutralize it first with like an orange, uh -huh. maybe yellow, depending on the undertone. So when I exfoliate it out. Um, I'll see what's needed. But lip blushing is basically just to lighten your lips or to mm -hmm. neutralize the darkness. Some people like a heavy, um, what should I say? No, a heavy colored lip. So mm -hmm. I don't like that, which mm -hmm. is why I just offer no, the lip yeah. blushing, which yeah. is just dots subtle. of subtle, right? Mm -hmm. Just dots of color throughout the lips that will make them appear lighter, but not okay. like you know full coverage. That's oh, gonna look like a lipstick. Right, no, mm -hmm. and I don't like pink lipstick anymore, no. so I'm thinking it would give that value if it was heavy. No, so the neutralizing will just make them um, look a Solid. little pink. Yeah, no, like yeah. a nice blush color. Right, but right. maybe the pink, your natural pink, yeah. that's in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's not going to make it look like no. drastic boom. Oh, Candy mm. yum yum. Mm. <laughs> 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 no, so, but you're going to love it, trust uh, me. Okay. So, so like it would be good for like people that smoke and have dark yeah, lips. People that smoke, um, mm -hmm. we ask them to stop smoking for like a week, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. um, afterward, maybe two weeks until their lips are fully healed, and then they can go back to smoking. But okay. you know, it's something that is inevitable. Okay, it's going to get black so, again if they don't yeah smoke. yeah. So it's a nice subtle lip tattoo. Yes, it's classified under cosmetic tattooing, but it's not really a tattoo because it doesn't go as deep as a tattoo. Oh, oh yeah, how long it lasts? Um, the lips last last a little bit longer than the eyebrows, so like anywhere between three to five years. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. With touch ups, so you have to mm. maintain it. If you don't, then it's gonna just fade away. On oh, its own okay. Over a period of time, just like the microblading. This guy that's lip tattoo, not lip fillers in any form of <laughs> But the mother looks well up. I know, no, in. like because trauma is applied to the area. Right. So, so it's, but it's the, the swelling will go away in like two days. Two days, yeah, okay. So I can, 
I, if I do my makeup, just don't put nothing on the area. Right. And then you can't eat anything spicy. <gasps> what? Oh, my food is really spicy. Yeah. <laughs> what? I mean. Drama, leave it home. If he ain't got it right by now, then scratch him off. He just called me, said it's about 20 strong. He's standing at the door, don't wanna take us on. The ring, let it go about three months ago. The pain, the stress that made me no more. The girl that they used to know, done changed. Now they say him is before they mention my name. Only looks like this for two days. Yeah. All right. What size? Why? Is that a big one? Look a bigger than that. Oh wow. Why don't these be cute? Oh yeah! Oh, 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 I just saw the cake! Oh my god! It, that's crazy. Why don't these be cute? Oh, wow! Why, why was, tell me was I there was there helping her? Uh, yeah, yeah. Why was I there helping her? Look, they're really cute for cute. I couldn't believe it. They, they like, stole a carrot cake. I, I, I guess it's that one. I know that's funny. They're cute for cute. No, watch her stand up. No, watch her stand up. I'm the cute behind her. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Just uh, every week, Just... rubbing posts all cut off time. No more orders. It's getting crazy over there. 
Nah, so, all guys. All the way from Farin to the cake. I don't know. I, 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 <laughs> I had to get one more of these. Okay. May I fool myself? But she was like, we want the large one or uh, small. Because no, what? You're going to make people get fat? What? Carnival is over. You can't eat. Like, you're the most contradicting doctor ever. <laughs> Over your baking cake, fatting up people. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel bad. No. But how the business? Pardon? How's the business? It's going great, girl. It's booming. You know, I have other things coming uh, out. Yeah, let me see. I try other cakes. You I bake other cake. cake. I'm a coffee cake. Uh, I'm a red velvet, coconut. Listen, if baking. you want, uh, I can do it. Okay. Just DM me. Just DM me. You know, just DM me. <laughs> It's on the dirt. screen. Let me know. Let me put it on the screen. <laughs> Guys, it's literally 24 hours later. I don't know. See, the swelling has gone out. Listen, I'm not gonna lie. After I did, I got the blushing done yesterday and everything. And I saw how swollen it was. I mean, I know it was gonna be swollen, but I've never seen my lips like that before. So that's the only part for me that is like, ah! <laughs> I'm gonna vlog for the rest of the day. Yesterday, I just kind of chill, relaxed, came home, took a nap, kicked back and just watched TV. Uh, yeah. What? <laughs> but listen, Lisa, Lisa Ann is just the best. I adore her. Like, she is just a gem. As I tell you, her customer service is just always A1. And I was just so pleased because, I don't know if you guys can tell, but she just really, really and truly, the color is not drastic. At first, I was kind of scared because I'm like, Suppose it done and then it's just like a freaking candy yum yum shade. <laughs> I don't want it because you guys, I don't know, I don't even wear pink lipstick anymore. I'm, like long, long time ago when candy yum yum just did bossa mark, yeah, or whatever, but mm, I'm so done with that. And yeah, so it's just like, and she explained everything you guys heard. Like, so it's great for people who have dark lips naturally, or even if you smoke, or so, or even if you just have like areas on your lips that are just pigmented and i what i really had i don't ha i didn't have dark lips but it's like i did have like little pigmentation and stuff and i'm just happy that you know i was offered this service and it's really 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 nice it's just so natural it's just a very light muted flush like blushed color and it's it's just nice you know and it as you can see my lips are relaxed for the most part it's a little bit still swollen um for the top lip but I told you, it's not, it's not, filler, it's just a tattoo. Unfortunately, I couldn't like show you throughout the process. Something I never knew that I would uh, really care for. At first when I heard about it, I, I feel like I didn't get the details properly. And so I didn't really care. And you know, when she kind of explained everything for me like properly, then I was more enlightened and was like, oh, okay. Um, so this is the ointment that she gave me for my lips. This is what I'm wearing currently. Um, this is how it looks. It's the um, Permacare Skin Conditioning Aftercare for Lips. Um, with Made with natural ingredients. This is made in Italy. And yeah, it's a uh, consistency that's it's not just like a lip gloss. It does feel like, you know, something that is like will exfoliate your lips as well. It has like some little particles in there like how oh, you'd have a sugar scrub, but it's not as much. So yeah, um, I just continuously reapply like small amounts of this throughout the day. I'd never allow my lips to get dry. That's what she recommended and your girl is taking heat because, oh, what she did say too, my lips are going to get darker. So it's just a process of, it's just a healing process. So after like maybe in like the next week or two, it will last for like the next week or two, like darkness. It will be like a little darker than what my natural lips were like before as in like the dark areas so i guess that's just because you know it is like a tattoo you know like how a tattoo dries up and like flakes off and stuff that's going to happen on the lips and so after like a good period of like at least 30 to six, or i think 20 or 30 to 60 days that's when the true color of the service that you got done is going to shine through so you see right after you're done and stuff but it will look even nicer after the 20 to 60 day period also you can go back and do maintaining maintenance sessions so you can go and get a touch up just like what you know we touch up with eyebrows sometimes i'm like guys let me tell you how i am loving the lamination another thing i never know i even cared for i needed i heard about it and i don't know everything i ever endure she's just a perfectionist and she is really great at, at her job 
10 out of 10 highly recommend check check her out okay and you guys saw that i put put her information on the screen her information will also be in my description box so you guys can go ahead and book her if you're interested you want to get your brows done lips done like she she offers so much more too than just that so you guys can go ahead check out her page and stuff and you can book her i think she's really good at whatever it is that she's offering she's well educated and she is just meant for this feel you know <laughs> she's kind of just meant for this feel. you know feel like awkward or weird or anything like when you're around her like she make you feel comfortable and some so that's that's always a plus with like anybody that's offering any service at all like that is a plus guys i'm not so no realize so, so yeah i'm just here chilling this as i said it's 24 hours later so today as you can see i'm really just here getting my hair ready i literally reinstalled this wig because honestly and truly i was so tempted i really wanted to kind of wear this wig to carnival but i was like it wasn't necessarily the look i was going for and i mean for the headpiece to me i feel like it would have been the best hair look for that so i said let me just do the slip back curly so yeah um that's where i don't know so i said all right let me go ahead and reapply this i have another wig that i brought with me but I don't feel like I'm ready to install it. I don't even know if I'm gonna end up be end up installing it. Depending on how my next couple of days go and how I wear how this wears down in terms of glue, um, how lasting it is and stuff. Because I did use the stronger glue that I my borrow borrow goods. I can't lend me. She was the one that recommended it to me and, and sent me a video and I was like, oh no, glue is strong. So um, depending on how it wears down. I'm gonna probably keep it on to go back home and stuff. I don't know, but for the next couple of days, uh, I'm gonna be going out. So we're gonna go out for dinner tonight. Me, Shami, mommy, we're just gonna go out, go for dinner. You know, all our vibes and chill out. You guys gonna see everything in this vlog, uh, by the way. So it's not like you have to wait and stay tuned for next vlog. And on Saturday, we're gonna go for a little, you know, road trip. So you guys want to see all of that in this vlog. Very nice and festive vlog. Yeah. yeah. I love them vests. I'm not saying I love them vests. That's it. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm wearing all this season. But we're checking out. I'm checking out a few spots that were not here when I was here the other day. So this evening we're going to go to Buzo. That's an Italian restaurant in Kingston, I believe. Yeah, so I already set up reservations and everything. So me and somebody I chat with you when I'm talking. And I'm just like, girl, multitask. I don't know if I want a party in any of this. I never give it no party. Because like, it doesn't have like a deep lace parting area. I just want it nice and curled up. So I'm going to kind of see if I can curl the back. The back lace is so nice. Let me see if I can curl it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like the rundown of what, the, what else is left to come in this vlog. Oh, and by the way, for my lips, I can't... Um, Put anything else on my lips for the healing period right now some man regular glass i can't use it or whatever i'm just going to keep on using this ointment so you know i just make sure so i'm careful when applying my um my 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 makeup and stuff but the brow lamination guys i love how it just straight straight out the hairs in the brows because i found myself the other day since the other day using some of my got to be on my spoolie to kind of like when i do my makeup to kind of like just brush the hairs upwards so they're straight because sometimes my my brow hair them have a dirty style with them love some of them over here so I curl up and I curl down and alter the shape and i don't like that so i mean if you're looking for straight or more tamed hairs I feel like the brow lamination will work you will like it um and, and as it relates to tinting it's definitely not something that's long term the tint will only last up to like a week depending on how you care for it so if i go wash 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 your face like entirely every minute it will not work and i wash my face a lot but what you have to do is wash your face strategically so if you wash around it so you're not gonna able to do this around it you're gonna have to cleanse it so probably get like you know cleaning pads with your cleaning agent and cleanse around it make sure so the water not gets in there it's a whole thing it's technical yeah it's, it's time consuming but if you want to preserve the local tinting and that's what i do if not then go ahead and microbill your brows um discipline yourself for the way i need to do during the healing process i feel like with 
how this aspect of the beauty industry is going in terms of microblading, you know, fusion lashes, lip blushing, all that. I feel like very, like, it's sometimes, it's in a way where sometimes you just feel like, ah, oh, I'm going to have a because your brows, your lips, you know, your lashes, everything on point. All you need to do is make sure, say, so try and maintain for have clear skin, have a good skin care, you know, because once you have all of that, like, Trust me, you really don't need makeup all the time. Like, you really don't. Like, <laughs> cause this is the best. Like, I don't see nobody that does brows this this good. And I know I've been here talking about it for such a long time, but that's just the truth. But tell myself something I gotta do and could get ready with me too. I'm probably do like an eyeshadow today. I think I want to. But guess what? They get ready with me going to be a little different. So I'm gonna have to stay tuned to put it to the way if you see what I do. But it's gonna be fun. It was actually a suggestion from someone, so mega wait. Yeah. <laughs> I got that today and um it should be fun. It really and truly should be fun. Ah, the last chit chat that I did on Petite Soul Divinity. I saw that you guys really like that one. I did it with Chummy. If you never check that out, go ahead and check it out now. But yeah, oh, I'm gonna plug in my curling iron. So I guess I'm going to come back to you guys when I'm all ready to go and then I can give you guys like an outfit of the evening and all that good stuff. So let's jump to that. So I'm all ready to go. There's a little makeup. Chummy. I did one last to get ready. Gotta bring the light because we gotta take pics. Um, so this is my outfit of the night. This actually came in a set. This pants here says hustler is the hustler set. I got everything in the fashion also. Top pants, but they both this never wasn't a set, I don't think so. Um so yeah. So yeah. And then the shoes are actually from cheap. <laughs> and bag is from Coach. Remember this when I took you guys shopping with me that day? Yeah, so this is it. And then the earrings are from Fashion Nova and then this is Shammy. Hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh, and I'm just wearing my Chanel Gabrielle because remember, I'm never bring like a lot, a lot, but it smells so good. This is mommy. <laughs> yeah, my do my makeup first. You know, so we're. We're kind of on time. We need to leave now, so I'm gonna see you when we reach your restaurant. Hey right, guys, we reached, so we're walking down. We have to um, park at NHT. We got the supermodel in front of me. Right here. We're in a, we're in a drizzle, same way now. This reminds me of Panama. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of Panama. <laughs> we call him, we, we, um, because we went out um, to one of the restaurants, them guys, when we're in a zero outside. When I, when I, I better go make it stuff our vacation. Okay, just the car. Yeah, mama we're on this so I take our time. Come. And so. Oh yeah, I'm smelling the restaurant now. Hopefully the food is good here. So we're just walking. If you got it, it ain't a question. Oh, it ain't no more for guessing. No more than emotionally invested Showing you all my imperfections oh. If I let you don't make me fall in Yeah If I were for then you could manage Manage, yeah All the money, all it could be And it's close to me All the these sides Tell me what you want Let me fall calamari and shrimp for or appetizers it was cool it wasn't bad at all and i got champagne mojito that's the first I, you don't know I, I love getting mojito but champagne mojito no i've never had that so that's a, we kind of played it safe well we asked the waitress what like is the best seller because you know the menu is we're not big on italian food so <laughs> But when I go like this, if the appetizer 
was like, what was the appetizer out of 10 for? Hmm? What was the out of 10? Um, I'm gonna give it a set. I'm gonna check it. Six? Nine? Wow. They know that I believe mommy over here. They give it a nine. Okay. Mommy loves different food, you know. Yeah, yeah, but it's different and it tastes good too. You know, like, it tastes different food sometimes and it just. Yeah. One, one, yeah. <laughs> I give it, I give it a seven. Shami give it a six point five, and mommy give it a nine. It's good. This is what it's giving. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. it's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the same thing you have, right, Shami? How much I give you? Yeah, I'm gonna give it a 9.5. That's good. That's really good. We made the first good Italian. We went, we were, we went to an Italian in Italy. In Italy? <laughs> Manifestation. We're going to Italy soon. Because what? Okay. When did we go to Italy? Um, I love that. This is the smoked salmon pasta. And Shami got lasagna. So, we're gonna. Mm. You love it? You love it? You love it? It tastes really good. Mmm. 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 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? <laughs> Would recommend. Okay. Okay. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Because me want more spice. That's true. Really I'm gonna try one of those guys. I need my dish. 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 Oh wow! I don't want to say make food with love. Dang! Like it make food with love. Like you might look young, you know where you want to get your head. And you might try it with love. That's that's the food. Okay, so back at home, guys. Um, we're gonna do some makeup. We're gonna do some makeup. Right now I'm about to go ahead, take this makeup off, get fresh and all that. Yeah, because I'm going to the gym tomorrow and stuff. And um, yeah, but as it relates to the restaurant, the restaurant was really nice, lovely ambiance, like 10 out of 10. If you're looking for that nice type of like vibe and ambiance, they definitely have it. Um, so I would go back for Italian here in Jamaica. You know, their food was, was good. So I would recommend. Um, based on what I got, I just got pasta. Is I, I I can't speak for everything on the menu, but in terms of the smoked pasta that I got, smoked salmon pasta that I got, and the frito misto appetizer and the drinks was nicely done. And Shami's um, lasagna was good. Um, in terms of customer service, I would say most of the persons there had great customer service. But upon entering the restaurant, I must tell you guys, it was not a good experience. Because the way that the person greeted Shami was like, Shami said good evening. They didn't even say good evening. The first thing they were like, oh, dress code. And it's like, first of all, good evening, you know, kind of vibe. And it's not what you're saying is how you say it and i totally get what you were saying but the thing is when i called all right when i called nobody communicated specific dress codes you know so we're just going looking fashionably nice you know and shami wore what she wore and stuff and i mean i get it everywhere has their dress codes and we're all about protocol and following that but as i said it wasn't mentioned to us or anything usually if we book if we res uh, making reservations with a uh a restaurant they'll be like you know and our dress code is this or that you know and or we have a strict dress code or some nothing like that was mentioned and upon calling a lot was mentioned because it's a fairly new restaurant and it's a hot spot and i would think it's a hot spot because the ambience and everything is really nice so that was the only thing though the way she said the way she brought across what she was saying, it was not so pleasant at all. 
but everybody else that we encountered at the restaurant they were really pleasant and the customer service was really top tier so i'd recommend and the food was good the vibe was good everything was good so i'd go back what's up so it's the next day and i came from i'm fresh from the gym i went and i got a few stuff done but i have more stuff to do but all right so i'm at uh, shami's school now waiting on her she's doing a final so yeah man she's at school now waiting on her she's doing a finals it's almost time well she's supposed to feel so finished she tell myself to come here so and just meet her and in the meantime i'm gonna have my lunch which is my salad Today was actually I'm eating all oh, the sweet potato and should I make them give me pasta too? <laughs> Even though for them pasta the healthy kind, you know. No sauce, no no oh ooh. This looks so good. You guys know the drill. So green grilled chicken salad, got a piece of pineapple in there, got you know, veg, you know, lettuce, cucumber, carrot, all that. Yeah, so I just all grew up on this. Post my local reels to my fitness page. I wanted to bring you guys to today's gym session, but listen, I never did go yesterday because me that try to preserve the burrows and my stuff. And I say, um, I forgot today because it's actually my last day. It's gonna be my last day to go to the gym, um, as in here in JA, you know, going on back. So, by the time you guys see this vlog, I would have already left Jamaica. I don't know, I'll be back in the US. You know, I can't believe it. The whole time I was packing. Me swear things, I'm gonna put one bikini in my thing, and I, I have a drawer just dedicated to bikinis. And for no time I come, I never put, I never remember to put the bikini in my suitcase. I'm gonna tell me that I go beach or river or summer at least once, cause I really wanted to. So no, I'm gonna look for buy, for go buy one bikini. I'm gonna have so much a bikini when I wear. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's a pretty nice week. Last week was super late. We did tired with the bun out, but we, we were having so much fun. Mm -hmm. I do carnival over again this Sunday. Like, ready. I'd so do it again. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, um, I appreciate all you guys' kind words and support on my carnival vlog. Will you guys just go ahead and share it? <laughs> because, yeah, it really took a lot. If you know I'm so tired, I'm still push you for edit it so I can't have it up on time. And my on time is literally the day after because that's just the quickest that I can get it out, you know? Um, I really appreciate all the support, you know? I really do. Thank you, guys. So, alright, got fresh, you know, guys, but it's not going to be a makeup type of evening. So, as I said, I wanted, uh, well, we're going to check out this spot today. This evening, I'm just gonna have a quick, quick bite dinner actually, um, because I hear a lot of talk, so we're gonna check it out with Sora, um, me and Shami. You know, just quick one too, and come back home because I got to start editing this vlog. And also, I'm gonna want to be out too late for tonight because we're going to the falls tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to Reggae Falls. I've never been, so just let it go, you know, um, because I really wanted to go to Beach or River or something, so I just we're just gonna do that tomorrow. So, yeah, no makeup. Um, because we kind of did end up out on the road for too long and then forgot to do a makeup. No, we wouldn't have enough time because we have a 7 o'clock re reservation. So, it's just super simple. Okay guys, so we're here now. It's not that we have to or anything. We just come by the bar because we don't feel like it was a vibe for life. And it's drizzling, it's raining. So we just, alright, but we'll just sit by the bar. So nice. <laughs> so we just look what we wanted. It was a really nice view, a really nice ambiance. So I love that for us. Really cute, really, really cute.
It's really spicy because it has the pepper flakes. It has the pepper pepper flakes on the side. You want it? <laughs> like it. Alright, guys, so lift. So, um, honestly, truly, I mean, it was just like any other sushi I've ever had it anywhere else to be a very honest. Um, yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Um, I don't think it's the top one. I don't think it's the best one. I just think it's alright. It wasn't bad. You know, the customer service was good. Everything nice, ambiance. You know, simple, chill Friday vibe. You know, more, they had more options and stuff. And Ooh. stuff, but for like a spicy, what is it? For like a spicy option, I don't know. I don't know. I just I feel know. like, oh yeah, I feel like it wasn't that. Um, like I feel like it was missing um some flavor. Oh, wait, on the spot. It was a little like at a spot. You want be as um <laughs> come complicate with life. Guys, want to learn you. So I know it. When I said in the morning, like we're gonna go away to the river now. I mean, the front driver is driving. So yeah, we're on our way. Be a first one like Jesus. We can't get a visa. Designer be it on Kelowna Creek. Stop, but we can keep up on it. Yo, Falcon. Fatty from my belly, my clotty from my body shot. High grade for task, my will have a dick. I ain't a summer beat from my mix with the women. Now I'm in it on my back, but the cash app is dark, sad. But it's not a stock drop. Yo, Tyree. Them three series, not nobody. But from school, there's nobody. Them girl, I'm with no sorry. Fitting them tight jeans. Oh. Not, yes, That's good road, this man. This day here from my grandmother was alive. <laughs> <laughs> Could tell you about this road. I don't call her name for any harm. <laughs> hey. I am so done. Guys, you know that I need to just throw black on me. We're tired. I'm so tired. I'm be a driver. Listen, we left off from 7 30 a.m. It's now after 10. After 10, guys. It's 30 past 10. That's a win. You know, at 4 or 5 o'clock, we should have left from. From Kingston to Mambia at 45 minutes time. Yeah. I know this because I even told so I sometimes I go say that it's a Exactly, but, but the road is so bad. Yeah, you need to reach by 8.30 or 8.30. Yeah. You know what I mean? The road is bad. It's like 9 o'clock. It's like 9 o'clock. It's like 9 o'clock. No, man. I really, the road, you know, the distance isn't that far. It's just that the road is really, really, really. It's worse than Portland. It's worse. I never know what to say. No, it's worse than Portland. Road. Portland road. Okay. I can't this place, I'm say it. Hey, 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 <laughs> this almost took me out. <laughs> it's not even funny. <laughs> <Should we go? laughs> no. Uh-uh. The wreck wanted my tree, but I don't know why it's on the But it's there. Girl. Uh-uh. They are with my mama finish. We'll come down in our um in that hour, bikini and everything on already. So, well, I want a one, um, one piece. Minima, wearing a bikini. Yeah. I'm not in LA. It took us three plus hours to reach down here. Mm. 
like and it's not that far. What is it? Like yeah, not far. Not far. The road now, man. The road is like the road is extremely bad. Like because they're my fix or something. Road bad. Guys, we just have to cross the river. So, alright. Me walling them, girl. Me walling them. Free the free. So I forgot walk up that hill. I'm free to run. Finally, guys, we can see the beautiful falls. Oh my God! No, yeah, mom, I love this thing. It's a nice little adventure. Oh, it's a nice, it's nice, so. nice, but Oh rich. my God! The girl at she said she bring all her three glasses. Watch me, I set on up over here so for you know one little view. Jesus, um, me do TikTok, me do vlog. Jesus, because me did have to still cover up under the cover up. We had a cover up here. I just that whole outfit I'm wear. And I just said, I'm gonna get this in her. My mommy, that's a bumba! Run! Why? Why? Guys, this is what I'm wearing. I also really would bring the shit come off with this day is sunny. I'm wanting to come in a little picture. But yeah, this is a fit. No makeup kind of day. Yeah. Guys, it is such a vibe. What I'm going to do is about my now. Okay, I bring my camera. I'm going to bring my phone. That's so what I can get to. But this is where it ends with my camera for me. May I put it up? And we're going to have a little time down there. And then. And then we're going to come back. Guys, we'll come down from up there. Hey, hey, I want some. <laughs> I'll buy something for you. Here, so. Guys, we'll the right time. Because everybody's a bus. Oh, it's a bus. It's a trip. So we'll come the right time. Come we are we got to wait up. But we didn't plan to today. I'm going to take change out with you. Put on a nice long wing. Yeah, but I enjoy this. This is fun. It was such a nice time. It was so nice. <laughs> really love it. So we just get yes, food yes, so. Big up to Chulum Tours. Charger with an extremely long card. And stretch to the back because my phone was dying. Your phone never did. Wait there. So what make you sound so hurt? You're lucky. I don't hurt, girl. You're hurt because you it look like you didn't want the charger. I know. I get it first. Look at my phone. You're lucky. You're lucky. Guys, my change. <laughs> You're on there, love. <laughs> My hair is a mess. But when I reach home, I just have to tie it on the edges because we're going to go to Hellshire. Okay. Okay. I guys, to reach Elsha. We're outside, oh. Yes, so. I'm to come to the This is what dinner is this evening. I'm so happy. We had such an amazing time at Reggae Falls. Hi! <laughs> you have the beans to wax one. We can't buy that, I know. We can't buy that, I know. You're working on me, no mascot. I cannot be bothered. I want to ask you, Tish. Of course. I don't know if I know what I'm afraid. I'm going to listen to the tea cow now. Yeah, not not one. The shark not in there, no. Yeah, the shot with the pitch you. I was thinking to the bed. Big you know? I thought it was a big one. Big big shot. I'm saying the shot. 
I see a music, so then I realize that it's one of the spicy ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh my God. My, my camera about here is super dead, but I'm reaching back, change my wig, as you can see, fresh, fresh, fresh. I literally just got done with packing, guys. Yum. It's my last night here in Jamaica for a while. Oh. But yeah, it's my last night in Jamaica. Um, today we had so much fun, like so, so, so much fun was amazing radio calls amazing it was just a light air bag i only thing i really didn't like was the journey the journey was really bad honestly and truly i thank god i did not drive and you know travis was very responsible like a1 guys can go ahead and check him out book him you know he has uh his own like transportation company and things so check him out yeah it was really really good um but yeah the, the road them were fixed but i'm not telling like i can see that there's a lot of like road work for the majority of the journey there's so much like areas where you say that them cut the road for like make it like work on it and stuff but the few workers on the on the road in comparison to the areas that need to be covered it's like really strange like and the workers are barely good like i don't know but it's i know it's a couple years now me here say them road if it, fix and it's rather it's taking rather long honestly and truly it honestly i almost got so we got discouraged at one point when we were on the journey like would i turn back if it was probably me that was driving because like what somewhere that is not that far away felt like it had the next in another country it was ridiculous but yeah so i think they really need to be serious about fixing the roads um but yeah, that was good we went to hell show and we came home and had fish and you know the usual which was really good it was just a good day we it was a vibe it was a vibe um this whole week was a vibe this whole trip was a vibe if you never check out my previous vlog please go check it out because you will see everything from a to z yeah this trip was a1 and you know loved it seeing it well yeah i leave tomorrow so by the time you guys did this vlog I would have already left and i'm back in the u.s so yeah i just wanted to kind of you know seal off everything close it off so you know for all who keep up with me on social media and stuff you would you wouldn't be caught off guard or by surprise when you said i'm no longer here in jamaica you know but yeah so mm -hmm. oh a little lip update so it's actually in the face where it's getting a little darker it's not that the uh, like noticeable but it's flaky and i can't pick it because that's just the how it, you have to do it like she said don't pick it none of that none of that just let it do what it do and use it what it means and you know everything will you know clear up or whatever over time as i told you guys before but yeah that's how that's going the brows oh my gosh this is so, sunday night sunday now and brows are giving still so but yeah guys that is uh, that's all my wrap up today's vlog thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if, you're, if, you're, if it's your first time like share and drop your positive energy down below that's it and i'll see you guys in my next vlog bye Yo, Falcon.